Ryder Cup, a dramatic head-to-head -head encounter between the best golfers of Europe and the United States. Since its inception in 1927, this match play tournament has been about much more than individual glory. For the men who compete, Ryder Cup matches are about passion and pride, about placing team and homeland above individual achievement, about sportsmanship, excellence, and love of the game. Everybody wants to be on the team. Not only are they playing for their, their country or their continent, um, but they're playing for um, their colleagues, which puts added sort of pressure and added sort of spice to the whole event. You know, it's, it's a match between uh, Europe and the USA, um, but the worldwide audience is over one billion. So it, it does capture the imagination um, of the world. With stakes this high, the Ryder Cup tournament demands perfection from its host venues. And over the years, the event has been played at some of the world's most prestigious courses. This year, for the very first time, the matches will be played on a course that was custom built for the Ryder Cup, the 2010 course at Celtic Manor in Newport, Wales. This Ryder Cup uh, bidding process was a combination of public and private um, sectors. It wasn't just a case of, you know, here is the golf course, now let's fit the event round about it. For the very first time we were able to build all this um, facility and infrastructure into our plans. Working with the tour, uh, they set out a platform to say if you want the best, this is how you go about doing it. So it, it, it took some time, but we worked with them to be able to create something truly world class. The challenging par 71 course measures 7,493 yards and its unique Welsh character is sure to provide memorable tests for the Ryder Cup teams. Wales is a, a nation of steep hills and plunging valleys as most people appreciate and uh, there's two distinct parts to the golf course. First five holes are very lynx-like in the feel. In the, feel. Uh, the middle holes which play around the lake behind me are sort of very parkland and um, very intimidating and the last few holes that run along the ridge back they've been described as very alpine in their nature where you have very um, expanse, um, obtuse uh, angles and slopes it, very, it flows very very freely and for a long you know, long way Match play style dictates a lot of risk and reward holes that's another thing that this course offers uh, in abundance as well and uh, you've got the beautiful scenery of South Wales as, uh, to boot the course is situated in the scenic Usk River Valley on land that had been farmed for centuries. Now working with the Golf Environment Organization, Celtic Manor is working hard to restore the land's biodiversity. And now we have these lakes behind it um, with swans and, and geese and a wonderful selection of, uh, of, of, um, of, of wildlife. Um, we have all sorts of um, feral and fauna and, and, and stuff and it's uh, a, environmentally, this has been a huge success story. This commitment to the environment extends to recycling too. And the 2010's new practice range is using recycled fly ash from a local power station to raise the land above floodplain level. The alternative would have been that that fly ash would have been dumped somewhere. Possibly, you know, some area might have had to be quarried in order to find room for it. So it was a good use of resources. It takes an incredible amount of resources to accommodate the tournament's 2,000 working media, two dozen TV towers, and especially the expected quarter million spectators. With this in mind, the 2010 course was custom built to create a memorable viewing experience. As the atmosphere builds, you want to maximize the amount of uh, room for spectators. And we've got incredibly 50,000 square meters of spectator viewing. So effectively, you could have, just in the last four holes, 50,000 people with their arms spread out, and we'd still get them all in. But when the Ryder Cup tournament begins, team, country, and the game of golf take center stage. The demands of being a Ryder Cup venue from the golf course point of view are very uh, intense. The conditions of the playing surfaces, um, tees, fairways, greens, have got to be to very high standard so that the players can express their skill to the best level. I think the pressure's on for the golf course to be in tip-top shape. Uh, having said that, I'm extremely confident in the team that we have, the equipment that we're using, 
I really think that uh, it, it will be in peak shape. With the pride of Europe and the US on the line, Celtic Manor turned to the Toro Company to be the sole source supplier of mowing and irrigation solutions for the 2010 course. Toro have supported us um, very heavily over the last 10 years or so with their Wales Open tournaments, and uh, which, are, which are played on the European tour. All of the crew here love using the Toro equipment. Most of them don't know anything else. The equipment's fantastic. We know what we need in order to get the golf course in pinnacle shape, and that's what's, that's what's happened. It's, uh, it's a major, major um, plus to us to have such confidence in the, um, in the equipment we use. With an estimated audience of more than a billion people worldwide, the 2010 Ryder Cup proves that golf is more popular than ever, and Toro is honored to be an integral part of this historic international competition at the Celtic Manor in Wales. For more than 90 years, we've built our reputation on a relentless quest for excellence and customer-valued innovation, along with a commitment to superior customer care, a commitment that applies not only to world-class venues such as the Celtic Manor Resort, but to each and every golf course that we have the honor of working with worldwide. We embrace these values because we believe that they are the keys to success for Toro, our distributor partners, and the customers we serve. The 2010 Ryder Cup matches will be played on a course specifically designed for this historic event. Toro has been involved from the very beginning, and we're proud to contribute to the preparation and maintenance of the 2010 course at Celtic Manor Resort. I hope you'll join me in celebrating this fantastic team event and the continued popularity of the great sport of golf. Pride in team and country and passion for the game of golf. These emotions unite all Ryder Cup teams. It's an inspiring example of the pursuit of excellence in golf, one that resonates with millions of players throughout the world. It's a grand tradition one that Toro is honored to be part of.